Hearing that you or a loved one has cancer is devastating. It's scary, uncertain, and grief-ridden. And if that isn't bad enough, the necessary treatments, including radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery, take a heavy toll on the patient's quality of life. But there is hope. Some researchers just published a groundbreaking study where they showed that one of the most difficult types of brain cancer, glioblastoma, might be able to be treated using non-invasive magnets that pose little risk to the patient. The device is compact and simple enough to be an at-home treatment and showed impressive results with a 31% reduction in tumor volume in just over one month. The researchers think that this could one day be an effective treatment for many types of cancer, getting us one step closer to winning the fight. In a recent study published in the Frontiers in Oncology Journal, researchers were able to utilize oscillating electromagnetic fields to produce anti-cancer effects, which rapidly decreased tumor size. In May of 2018, the subject in question, we'll call him John, was presented to the medical team with altered mental states. John didn't quite feel right, so the medical team decided to conduct an MRI. Unfortunately, this revealed a large tumor in the left frontal lobe, which extended across the midline into the right frontal lobe. These areas are important to higher level mental tasks, motor tasks, and emotional regulation. John underwent many treatments, including surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, but the tumor continued to grow. Other related complications gave him an estimated three and a half to four months. At this point, John was eligible to try experimental treatments. Magnetic fields have been shown to have a stimulatory or inhibitory effect on cell growth, depending on the frequency of the magnetic fields. Basically, you take permanent magnets and spin them around really quickly to change field direction. The number of spins per second determines the frequency. Previous research showed that some frequencies induce apoptosis and inhibit mitosis in cancer cells, specifically by reducing the growth of blood cells to that area. A reminder from your high school bio class that apoptosis is cell death and mitosis is cell reproduction. If you're curious, the cancer-specific frequencies are randomly chosen between 100 Hz and 21 kHz. They put this concept into practice by creating a head-worn device capable of producing magnetic fields, which they called an oncomagnetic device. The device is actually quite simple. It consists of three rotating magnets, which they call oncoscillators, mounted to a standard skateboarding helmet, controlled by external microprocessors. The magnets are placed in such a way that the generated field covers the entire brain. Because the device uses magnetics, it produced little to no side effects. The subject and his spouse were trained in the device for just three days in the lab, and then they were actually able to take the device home, meaning no long-term hospital stays. Frequent checkups revealed great progress. As you can see in figure B, the tumor was rapidly growing in size before starting the treatment. John's tumor shrank rapidly with a 10% reduction after three days and a 30% reduction after 30 days. After stopping the treatment due to an unrelated injury, the size increased rapidly again. This is a really big step up for cancer treatment. Hopefully we could soon see a future where treating cancer is as easy as putting on a hat. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and is a completely free way that you can support us. See you in the next video.